2010. I'm thrilled to see all these familiar faces as well as a few new ones this year. So uh, another round of applause for all of you for coming out. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and get to some of the prizes. I should probably run down kind of what the plan is today. This bit, obviously, the movie, we're going to do a bunch of giveaways, a bunch of stuff we're going to huck into the audience. We're not throwing anything sharp this year. <laughs> so, we may, some of it may be a little sharp, but um, what will happen is we'll have some helpers kind of running up and down the rows and just giving stuff to people randomly. Um, you all have a swag bag, hopefully you'll get stuff you can just stick into those and, and be able to carry uh, easily. I want to call, uh, call out a few people that have to be with us this year. I hope they don't mind the uh, additional exposure. Where's Brian in it? Start the movie! Cover! <laughs> <laughs> there he is right there. Brian in it, everybody. Cover Bell and Bill Zach. Anybody a Bill Zach fan in the audience? Yeah. Yeah. Me too, I like that one. Uh, also with us is, it sounds like I'm introducing somebody on the show. Also with us is Tom Merritt and his wife Eileen from CNET and the uh, Revision 3 of Arctic. Soon, soon to be Tom Merritt of the Twit Network, so we'll, we'll look forward to that. Uh, Eric and Skyhawk, Ash Laffy Bay, stand up. So everybody is back. Uh, we have two thirds of a podcast called Ladies of Leap. They're part of the broadcast network now, and I think they should stand up. So we have Nicole and Kim. Hello, ladies. <laughs> and of course, Mark Spagnuolo, the host of The Wood Whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't want to forget anybody. Hi, I'm, I'm Tim. You've probably seen me on the forums as Punk Rock Warlock, and you've probably seen me playing a shaman, which makes the entire Why Am I Called Punk Rock Warlock seem really weird to probably a lot of people. Uh, yes, I did. Took my car straight from Colorado. Is this your first time killer? This is my first one. I've noobed my way through this. I feel experience now. I feel like I have learned something. I love this. It's great. I mean, it's really what a convention should be. I mean, so so many conventions, they get in, all into, like, we need to have the these panels, we need to have these particular things. And really, the convention should be about getting together with your brethren, getting together with, with friends and kind of extended family and getting to know them. It's about the community, and I think Nerdtacular really captures that in the way a lot of other conventions I've been to don't. Um, I'm Sean Stokes. Uh, I play a warrior on uh, Dark Spear named Yum Yums. I'm from just like, I don't know how far it is, like an hour? Yeah. An hour away in Syracuse. Okay. How many years have you gone to Nerdtacular? Oh, this is my first year. about the whole Nerdtacular event? Your first year? What do you think? Oh, this is, this is lots of fun. Uh, I'm Reggie, aka Meliana. And I'm Dana, Melly's girl. <laughs> Melly's girly. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't play WoW. Uh, from Indiana? Yeah. And Colorado. I flew in from Indiana, and then we drove from Avon, Colorado. How many, how many years have you gone to Nerdtacular? Well, this is my first time coming. Reggie's been here three years in a row. Excellent. About the event. Nerdtacular is spectacular. Isn't that cheesy? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Scott. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. He's working very hard to put this together. Scott and everybody, it's been really fun to meet all of these people that, that he talks about, that he plays with online, and wow. it's, it's a, truly a family event. It's awesome. My name is Anthony Johnson, uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, uh, Erlock and the AIE Guild. I thought that the uh, movie was way better than I thought it would be. Uh, I don't know why the critics hate it. I just don't. It was awesome. I can't wait for the third one. War. War. AIE. El 
Okay, yeah, my name's Kurt Beckstrom. Uh, Twitter is Kurt Dwayne. And uh, what else? I'm Terriana on World of Warcraft Blade Fist server. Word. I'm actually sponsoring the event here as well. I'm we're with Geeks. Uh, did you travel here? I uh, know only about 20 miles. I live in Layton. Okay. Yeah, I'm an in-stater. Okay. How many years have you gone to Nutacular? This is first year. Yep. Year number one. Yep, me too. Best year. Awesome. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a great, uh, great place. Yeah, I, I think uh, Scott's taking it right where it needs to go, and and uh, excited to see it expand. And it's a great way to, to, to I guess, expand the. Uh, the Frog Pants brand, which is nice. It's good to see all the fans out here. It's really great. My name's Dane Barnes. My alias on uh, World of Warcraft is Brains with B B R R A A I I N N S uh, on Dark Sphere. Uh, Syracuse. This is my first year. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's really big, uh, bigger than I thought it would be. So, shout out to Dark Spear. Yeah. Name. Um, I'm Anna Hurst. My alias is typically Gamer Girl Anna. Um, on pretty much everything. I did. I traveled from Boise, Idaho. So so far away. <laughs> My second Nerdtacular. This is my second Nerdtacular. It was awesome. It's definitely bigger than it was last year. Um, and I, I I, really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I just want to say thanks to everybody that made this possible. Um, it's been a wonderful Mother's Day gift. This was my Mother's Day gift this year and last year. And I want to say thank you to my husband for making this, you know, my gift. It's been incredible to actually fit in with somebody. It's great. <laughs> okay, uh, my name is Chris Morton. Uh, I go by Tabaxi. Wow, it's actually on my online community. I do uh, a couple other guys. He does a podcast. Um, Did you travel here? Yes. Yeah, I came directly over to uh, Portland, Oregon. I went to Boise, Idaho, where I picked up the rest of the guys. We got a caravan down from there. About a five hour drive. Awesome. So beautiful. How many uh, Nertaculars have you been to? Um, I personally, this is my first one. But the other guys with the D podcast, this is their second one. Yep. Um, so we plan on this not being our last one for sure. Uh, what, and what about Nerdtacular? What'd you think so far? Uh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. My one vacation of the year for sure. Um, the busiest year I have for personal work. This is a great way to hang out with buddies from my high school. Um, and my college buddies. And definitely something and I would recommend for anyone to do. This is a great job. Awesome. Anything else you want to add? Um, Scott and the man, everyone out there, thanks for the wonderful time. My name is Steve Slade. I'm a Nertacular veteran. I've been here three years. This is my third year, obviously. No, I, well, yeah, from West Valley. Okay. So a whole, what, 15 minutes on Bangator, which is a nightmare in and of itself, yes. But I, I never seen a theater where 300 people sat until the end of the credits, so that was kind of cool. So uh, the event, you think, was a big deal for the movie? Like that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, there's not, not much to be said about what Scott does for us, you know. He's an inspiration to a lot of us, I think, and so that he even gives back to us in, in this way is, is, to me, quite impressive. Uh, you know, I mean, and it's, it's fun to come and hang out and meet people that are, have similar interests and things that, you know, you don't get to get a chance to see. I like to think that 10 years ago, this would have never happened. This would be impossible. Nobody would even know who Scott Johnson is outside of his workplace or his, you know, in the community. But with the explosion of the internet and podcasting and things, he's worldwide. So who, you guys listen to the infants? Yeah. Tad Pryor would like to do the Tad Pryor Live. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. Ready? We do this every year, too. And he's going to be 10 next year, so next year will be like, a hoo 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 right? Okay. Here we go. We'll do the whole thing. See? Hear ye, hear ye. Why, it's the town crier. <laughs> Thank you all for coming, and uh, we'll see you upstairs later. Thanks. Yeah. Um, all right, and then I want to 
thank some sponsors real quick. First and foremost, Josh Bender, who is here this year. You've heard his name before in previous shows or events. He, this show doesn't exist without him and his support. I'm really, really grateful uh, for Josh, and he's somewhere, somewhere. There he is. All right. <laughs> Um, all right, let me run these down. Uh, Woodworcester, of course, host, uh, helped us sponsor the show this year. Ladies and League, major spoilers. I wish Stephen could be here, but he couldn't. Uh, William Doran, photography. They're taking a bunch of shots. Uh, Aegis Rings, the Geeks guys, Geeks 2010 happening in July. Very excited about that. It's a cool giveaways from them. And uh, Chantel from downthewire.ca, a Canadian. Oh. Yeah, She's a Canadian. There's a few Canadians here as well. Um, and then huge special thanks to Entropic Solutions, Kenneth and I, Matt Anderson. Matt's here. He's one of our healers in our ten group. Uh, Weston Matlock, let's see. Kenny Smith, David Fox, Michael, I almost said Michael Taylor, that'd be awesome. Michael Mann. Uh, Eldicar, Blizzard says a ton of stuff. My mom gave birth to me, it's right there. And my sister's here, my brother and his family are here. There's tons of people who come out every time and support me. I can't do it with you without you guys. Kim Johnson, my wife. Carter, Taylor, Nick, over there. Pam Pryor with the helmet on. Last but not least, I gotta thank Corinne, who uh, is not in here right now, I don't think, because she's out there working the table and making all this stuff happen. She's the queen of this event, so big round of applause that she'll never hear. <laughs> oh, Ding Kong, where's Ding Kong, Matt? <laughs> Ding Kong! <laughs> Alright, that is the tradition for uh, when this happens on Mother's Day. I always give my mom something. Woo! Oh. 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 I don't want to tell you because I don't feel right. Maybe I need to do it. Uh, Tom Merritt, a.k.a. Ace Detect. And you traveled here? Yes, we came by plane. And is this your first third time? Yes, this is my first time at the Nord Spectacular. What did you think of Nord Spectacular? You know, I think that Steve Johnston guy is really good. I like all of his uh, his podcasts, uh, like the the Film Bag and um, the, the Inst Instancia. I'm a big fan of the Instancia, so yeah, I, I thought it was a really, really good show. Um, for the Horde. Okay, my name's Brandon, uh, alias on the internet, Styleth or Akirath01. Do you travel here? No, well, from Bountiful. <laughs> this is my third year. Wow. Yes. What about the event? What about Nerdtacular? Love it. Come every year that I can. <laughs> Just want to say obey Henry and thank you so much, Scott. My name is Lee, but I go by Seamus. Is this your first Nerdtacular or have you been to many? This is my second one. I went to the one last year and I enjoyed it as much as this as well. I'm from New Hampshire. All right. Yeah. It's, um, it, you know how you eat with, uh, while doing something fun? It's better. This is like that, but uh, a little better. A li it, so, yeah. Uh, my name's Porter Williams, uh, also Razor Storm from thewowstorm.wordpress.com. I live right here in Salt Lake. This is my first year, so having a good time. I'm having a great time so far. I did not know what to expect. So, you know, kind of local, you know, local uh, RAN convention had no idea what to expect, but I'm loving it. Bring your wife. You'll have more fun. My name is Michael Nowland, and I'm from Penrith, which is very near Sydney, Australia. 
through great luck, while I was in travelling through the US for six weeks, I heard one of Scott's uh, instance broadcasts, and uh, Randy mentioned Nerdtacular, and I immediately started chasing and was fortunate enough to get a couple of tickets. So I altered the travelling plans and made sure I was back here today. And I'm a an instance fan and obviously a WoW player. Um, I play on. I come from Australia, but I play on an American server. Yeah, and it gives me a great advantage at night if I'm collecting uh, plants or weeds or stuff like that. And thanks, Scott. Um, I'm sure the best part of Nerdtacular is still to come today. McKay Beckstead, the chin. Yes, I'm Cole, aka the White Kid. Storm Champagne, the Squirm. Well, we're good friends with Scott. Live kind of close to him, so. We spend more time at his place than most of his family does. So, uh, this is my second year, and this is my first, and it's awesome. It's awesome. I've enjoyed myself a lot. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> Uh, Twitter handles Code Flare. Uh, uh, real name's Robert. Uh, no, I actually live here. We heard about it through a friend of a friend of guilds, and uh, we decided to come down and see some Iron Man. It was pretty awesome. How many years in Nerdtacular? This is my first year. Yes. What do you think of these It's great. This is lots of fun. I would uh, definitely do it again. I'm Valen or Sharkleberry. Yeah, I drove from Seattle. How many years have you gone in Nerdtacular? This is my first year, and it's pretty sweet. I, um, it was cool. Yeah, I gotta come down again next year because it's really not that long of a drive. You can do it in one day, so. Um, my name's Erin Fair. I play Laruna. She's a level 53 now, Warlock. Uh, do you travel here? No, well, I'm from Sugar House, so I traveled like half an hour. My first time out to South Jordan, or West Jordan, whatever it is. How many years have you gone to Nerdtacular? This is my first. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of the whole Nerdtacular? It seems fun. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really great. My, my husband brought me, so it's a lot better than I was expecting. <laughs> Um, this is great. I hope it gets bigger and bigger every year. I'd like to see costumes. I think that'd be fun. Alright, y'all ready for this? By the way, this bundle comes with, what? What's that? Batteries? Awesome. <laughs> I love batteries. The original Uncharted, a remote, so the Blu-ray uh, remote thing, and it's the Slim. So here we go. The big winner is. Coffee isn't here and that'd be fun. Cheney Gerhardt. No? <laughs> <laughs> Brian Ibbett. Tristan Ibbett. Tina Ibbett. From uh, Coverville, from Colorado, visiting here from Denver, also from uh, Film Sack. And uh, happy to be here for another Nerdtacular. Awesome. This is, uh, for he and I, it's our third, but it is her first. It's mm -hmm. Tina's first. So, right. yes. And how about this year's Nerdtacular? Always a blast. I and mean, it's so amazing to see this thing grow year after year. I mean, this is. Um, it's turning into such a, a, an amazingly huge community. It's always been a great community, but seeing it develop into this massive community is just a lot of fun. Love being here. Can't wait to. Can't wait for next year. <laughs> uh, my name is Jeff Smith. My alias is Arceus. Did you travel here? All the way from Pleasant Grove. About 20 minutes. This is my third. Uh, it's good. It's getting bigger, so it's good to see people. You know, you don't get to see on in real life, so. Oh yeah, here we go. Ready? 
My name's Adam Cochran. I'm with TalkingDigital.org. Did you travel here? I did. I came from Grand Junction, Colorado. This is my second year. Yesterday, yesterday was my first, and it convinced me to come back. I don't think I'll miss another one. Uh, what do you think of this year's New I, you know, I really appreciate all the work Scott went to in putting this together, and, and uh, it, it's really amazing. I mean, you can tell it's leaps and bounds. The last year it was fantastic. If they would have done exactly what they did last year, it would have been great. This year was even better by far. Uh, I just don't want to say that I'm kind of mixed feelings. I don't know whether to tell everyone about this and have them come next year or try to keep it a secret so that I can keep having a seat. But I, I really appreciate it, and I just want to tell Scott and everybody involved, uh, thanks a lot for doing this. Nicole Neoladen. Kim Molly Schott. Eric Hakito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark, what am I? Clevis. Clevis, Soul no, Free, and The Wood Whisperer. <laughs> oh, I forgot, you do word working. Yes. 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 All, of us. All, of us. All of us. All of us. Phoenix. New Jersey. Texas. How many nerdtaculars have you guys done? Two. Two. All right. This one. <laughs> this is my first, but I've been here in spirit. Yeah. What do you guys think of this year's nerdtacular? Awesome. awesome. Great. Great. Really good. We love you, Scott. It was awesome. We love you, Scott. And Kim, thank you. And Kim, Kim, Kim is awesome, Kim, too. you're Aww. awesome, Scott. You're okay. <laughs> Scott, you really need to pull back your DPS. I can't hold aggro. <laughs> I'm trying the best I can, but with your lead deeps, I just can't do it. Please change. Please. Leave, leave, the tank. leave your fishing hat on. Uh, I'm Zeke. I'm Ethan. Uh, I'm Zeke the Squirrel. Yeah. So, uh, Air Where did you guys travel from? We live about an hour north up in West Point, Utah. Right. So it's not too far. Yeah. Is this your first nerd tackle? Yes, it's my first. It's his first. It's my second. I brought him along because my brother couldn't make it this year. So. What did you guys think of this year's nerd tackle? I thought it was great. It was, you know, almost twice the size of last year's. Huge. Great turnout, so just a great community in general. You know, what are you, your first time, so a uh, lot of nice people. It was great to be able to come here and just hang out and watch a movie with all these fun people and have a great time. I just hope it keeps going. You know, I'd like to see this get bigger and better. Uh, my name is Brandon Matthews. You all probably know me better as Old Man Franks. I'm on Twitter.com slash the BMAT. I play Dakar and Old Man Franks and uh, Shadathi in the Alea Yacht S Guild. I travel from Fort Worth, Texas. This is my third year at Nerdtacular. Oh, dude, this whole this whole uh, you know just convention center they got going on here. This is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I can only imagine where he's going to go from here because this is going to be pretty hard to top. But this is this is pretty swank. I love it. Uh, get off my lawn! Well, I go by Bob. I also go by Abelvan. I'm a druid. Uh, did you I came from Philadelphia. After missing my flight, my original direct flight here, I had to fly through Atlanta. How many years have you gone to New York This is numero uno for me. So, as of right now, for as far as I've known about Nerdtacular, I'm batting a thousand, which is awesome. Nerdtaculars, nerdorific. What can else can I say? I just want to say this is awesome. You should come too. My name's Chris Stockball from Boise, Idaho. Uh -huh. and I play a, a resto druid in AIE uh, named Katoa. I'm just brand new. Cool. Yeah. Uh, is this your first nerdtacular? It's my first nerdtacular. Well, it's really uh, pretty interesting to see everybody and. You know, you hear some of the names like, oh, but um, yeah, really, it's it's fun being here. Just thanks to Scott Johnson and uh, Randy Jordan and for this whole uh, this whole uh, community. I think it's great. Jeff, I'm Jalen Jade on Twitter. Uh, how many your have you been to? This is my first. So, what did you think of? I liked it. It was. I've heard some bad things on um, the net internet, but I didn't see any reason to not like it. It's interesting being with a large group. I'm not a very social person. Uh, 
Nick and Damien. Uh, and where did you guys travel from? Uh, Eagle Mountain and all the way from Philadelphia. How many years have you gone to Manhattan? Like four or this is the fourth year. This is the first time. Yeah, me too. Uh, my name's Willie, but uh, I go by Dills. I'm in the AIE Guild on Earthen Ring, but I also do the AIE podcast um, with co host Warak and Gufoni. They got really upset with me when I did the instance and I did not mention their names. Did you travel here? I did. I flew. My original plan I was going to ride a motorcycle. 11 hours through 40 degree weather into Utah. I'm really happy now I didn't make that decision because I probably wouldn't be alive today <laughs> if I had. So uh, yeah, so I flew down. Um, everyone's asking about my wife, Sarah. She is heard very often on vent making fart noises and saying things that she thinks nerds will find funny, but she didn't make it down, just me. How many years have you gone to Nerdtacular? This is my first year at Nerdtacular and um, I, you know, actually, I knew I was in the guild for, I've probably been in the guild for like three years, I would say, and uh, every year I knew about it and was super jealous of all the people who were able to go, and so this year I decided I wasn't going to let, uh, I wasn't going to let it pass. I just, I made all the, uh, the arrangements early and knew I was going to go. Well, this is actually fantastic. I, I, you know, I was a little bit nervous, obviously, when you're hanging out with people that you know, but you don't really know from real life like you've heard their voices you've talked to them plenty um it's a little bit i was a little nervous at first i didn't know what everyone was going to really be like in real life and uh, everyone's been super nice we've had a great time i mean yesterday i got a, a buddy of mine took me out golfing then i hung out with a bunch of people we went and saw kick ass then we had pizza then we hung out in the hot tub and i mean like it's just been kind of non-stop so it's really cool i wish it was longer to be quite honest uh i just want to add that uh scott pretty much inspired me in a lot of ways with podcasting and uh when i saw like scott's ability to kind of put a bunch of different things together and my kind of make it all cohesive like even though he was talking about different things in different podcasts it really kind of made me go okay i need to just continue doing this because this is what i like to do and so since then i've done multiple other podcasts the AE podcast obviously and now going to school um particularly for it it's all a little bit inspired by scott I don't know if I've told him that, but, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, he's definitely one of, like, the people you look up to. Like, you can make it doing what you really like to do. And, uh, and I think that's awesome. <laughs>